Hello, welcome to the homework for lesson 30. This is module 5 of grade 3. Get your name on here first. Now, this is uh, an unusual homework assignment. We, it it uh, involves just remembering what we did in, uh, for this lesson in school. This is describe step by step the experience you had of partitioning a length into equal units by simply using a piece of notebook paper and a straight edge. Illustrate the process. So illustrate means to draw a picture of it. So uh, I, I'm not going to show you what kind of picture to draw, but I, I'm going to. What I'm going to try to do here is help you remember what it was that we did, so you can draw a picture of it. So copying my picture might help you, but I don't know how much. You want to draw your own picture. So what we did was we we're thinking, say we're going. It says e into equal units, so we could say equal units are. Maybe we're going to use thirds. So using the lines here, what you could do is use this edge here as our number line. And we're going to label this with fractions. And let's say um, we're going to call it uh, a third. Let's say that a third will be every, let's see, how many lines do we have? We want to use this will be our zero. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so let's say like every five lines is going to be a third. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 1 third. And then we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's another third, so that would be our two thirds line. Two thirds. Let me clean that up. And I'm going to try and zoom in on this a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, right here. Two thirds. And then another five. One, two, three, four, five. This one here will be three thirds. <clears throat> and then we were given a like a strip of paper, and the idea was you take one corner of it. Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to draw a picture of the strip of paper. All right, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing of paper. And this is what we did. So I'm going to switch colors to draw the strip of paper. Now remember which corner of the paper we put down at the zero mark. It, it would be the bottom corner. And the whole thing, and this is where you need the straight edge, because don't try to draw this by hand because it won't come out right. We need a straight line. So that's going to go to, and we put the bottom corner of the strip, so it's, the strip's going to go like that. And the other end of the strip and the other bottom end of the strip is going to touch this line here for three thirds. That's our hole, right? So it's going to go from there to there. Now, it depends on how long the strip is as to where that touches. So if your strip is shorter, it's going to be closer to the bottom of this line. If your strip is longer, we're going to have to angle it up higher to get to that line so that your strip is going to look. Let me erase this and I'll draw a better picture of a strip. So, there, and we'll make it about like that. Let's make the strip there and there. And so the strip is going to look like this. There. And I'm using a straight edge to draw with a stylus on my computer screen, which is kind of goofy. But that's kind of what the picture looked like. And then what we did was we did, we took where the third mark was, well, one third mark was on right on this line here. That's our one third mark. And then our two thirds mark was right here. 
and then when you mark that on the line that's your right you make those you can mark the strip parallel to the ends and there's our one third one third one third so your picture is going to look something like that and you don't have to do thirds for your picture you could easily do uh you could easily do fifths or whatever as long as you have you're counting the ideas that you're counting lines as you're using the these evenly spaced lines for the paper and that your whatever your fractional unit is make sure you can get all of them a hole on there uh, it might take some trial and error to make sure that uh, you don't make your uh, units too large so that a hole won't fit on the page but uh, once you figure out what you want to do and how how you want to uh, space out your units just make sure that your fractional units are equal to each other that's all you really have to do and then draw your and then draw your imaginary paper strip and make it as long as you want you can make it go up to this corner you, up, up the line up here you can make it go there or you can depend depending on where it ends up um, the angle is all up to you